Hi everyone, it's Dom again, and today we're going to be looking at a few drones, the first being Parrot's AR Drone 2.0, which was released back in 2012, um, but we're really going to be focusing on the mini drones, which would be a Parrot Mambo and Rise's Tello, and I'll be telling you out of those two which one's better. Um, the AR Drone 2.0 was really an afterthought because um, I sold it today, and um, when I bought it, I paid something ridiculous back in 2012, I think maybe 250 to 300 quid, and um, I sold it for 25 pounds a day. So, to be honest, when you compare them, I've got a quick video of the Parrot AR Drone 2.0 in action. Um, it's not doing much because I just didn't have anywhere to really fly it indoors, so I just tried to see how stable it was. And when you compare that to the Tello or the Mambo, um, the Tello wins hands down, the Tello is just so stable and the flight time is just long, it's good, 13 minutes or so, it's great. Parrot's Mambo I timed before and it was about 4 minutes 20 seconds or something like that. Um, Parrot AR Drone 2.0 is pretty good, pretty decent. Um, that did last um, probably about 10 minutes or so, I didn't really time it to be honest because um, it was difficult flying it. Now I tried to fly these all at the same time in a very small space which was extremely difficult um, I was counting on the drones being stable so I paired the Parrot Mambo with my iPad the Rise Tello with my iPhone SE and a Nimbus controller and the AR Drone 2.0 with an iPhone 4 that I had laying about um, now I sent the Tello up first because it seems to have the longest battery life so um, I let it hover and literally once I sent it off I didn't have to touch the controller it was fine by itself then I sent the Mambo up and um, that was okay it wasn't too bad uh, not as stable as the Tello but it was okay and then I tried to send up the AR Drone 2.0 which um, I was gonna try and control and to be honest uh, it was very difficult stability is I think it's rubbish um, so you really have to have a hands-on with that now i know you probably shouldn't be trying to fly all three drones at once but i just trying to do it for comparison's sake and to be honest the rice tello wins hands down camera's good stability's good controls are responsive it's awesome ar drone range is not great can't really fly it indoors unless you've got a big house um camera isn't great um Battery life is so-so, um, yeah, not my cup of tea really to be honest with you, and um, Parrot Mambo, it's got some fun attachments, you've got the grabber, you've got the cannon, you've even got an FPV module if you want, um, stability wise, much better than the AR Drone 2.0, again, it's small enough to fly in your house, this is great, um, camera, not so good when you have if you've got the attachment, um, but stability, I didn't rate it. It's okay, it's better than the AR Drone 2.0, but it's just not as good as the Tello. Um, I had to keep messing about with it because uh, it kept dropping in height for some reason. I don't know why, but there you go. Anyways, uh, here's a quick vid of all three of them in action.
controlling these drones from your phone can be a bit of a mission really so I thought a controller was a must and after scoping the market there were like game sirs t1ds and stuff like that I wanted something that was going to give me a bit more bang for buck so um, I went with a Nimbus uh, controller for the Steel Series, which I don't regret at all because not only can you pilot your Tello drone with it, you can also pilot the Mambo drone with it, and you can also play uh, games on your phone using this one controller. So I think that's great. I also went and bought an, an extender as well, Wi Fi extender, and I had a power bank lying around. I haven't tried out the, the, meter, the, the actual range how far the Tello can fly yet, um, but um, I will do at some point. Um, I also decided to uh, buy one of the cheap VR goggles. Um, these were like eight quid on uh, like 99 or something on Amazon, and um, I only bought it because it was cheap, and I just really wanted to try out uh, the VR on it. And um, I can tell you one thing: um, it's okay, but when you compare these low-end VR box headsets, if you like, you know, just which is slightly better than Google Cardboard, to stuff like the Oculus Rift, there is no comparison. Firstly you're getting the image feed from your phone and that's getting the image feed from the camera or the type of camera that's on the drone and the Tello one's alright, it's not bad um, but uh, also the Oculus is much more comfortable I mean you put this other VR headset on or box if you like and you can instantly feel there's a big difference it just feels quite clunky and it didn't feel as comfortable and stuff should you get a Mambo or a Tello? well that depends on you really um it depends on your needs now to be honest i personally prefer the tello if i was buying it for a child or someone who's 11 or 12 years old i'll probably go for the mambo um i would definitely get a controller with the mambo the the uh, fly pad is obviously a lot cheaper i think it's about 12 or 13 quid or something whereas the nimbus controller is 40 pound or at least i paid 40 pound from cex and i know that you need to uh, you can you might be able to get it cheaper here and there but not that much cheaper um at least with the fly pad it's only like 10 or 15 pound um if you've got both drones then obviously this this is it's a, it's a no-brainer just get a nimbus controller because you'll be able to use it on uh, multiple applications if you want to uh, make use of all the uh, additional um, range that you can get at the Tello, I would suggest getting the Wi-Fi extender, the Show Me uh, Repeater 2 or something. Get that Wi-Fi extender, uh, get the Steel Nimbus controller, um, buy an attachment so that you can attach your phone to it. 3D glasses are optional, um, but I will say that setting the Wi-Fi extender up to my phone was a bit of a mission because um, firstly you've got to make sure you get the right app and once you've got the right app um, you have to like obviously you select the relevant um, extender but what I was missing is there's there's a bit on it where it says reset reset the Wi-Fi uh, adapter and you reset it and it wouldn't let me go forward I didn't realize that you're supposed to put a tick not a tick it's like a circle in the box before you can hit next but you, it does it's not it doesn't make it that obvious so when i was looking at it i kept clicking next and it wasn't happening it and i didn't know why eventually by accident i hit this button and uh it then let me it put me through and it connected it up but but what happens is you've got to connect your uh you, firstly you've got to connect your phone to the tello drone first before you even plug in the wi-fi extender once you've done that you've got to rename the Wi-Fi um, and that's done through the actual app so if you go into the Tello app and you select the Wi-Fi setting on there uh, it'll give you the option to uh, change your Wi-Fi network you need to take the dash out of the Tello which it comes standards like Tello hyphen and then a number or some letters or something you need to take that out and type in like Tello DOM for example I'll put Tello DOM uh, one word um, and then put a post a password in once you've done that and you've connected that up uh, you then go back into your settings on your normal, like as if you're connecting Wi-Fi normally, and just make sure you can connect to it by putting the Wi-Fi password in uh, and selecting the Tello network. Um, once you've done that, that's the time to open up the app and register with the My Home, to, Me Home 2 or something, Me Home app, something like that. Register with it, um, f select the relevant uh, Wi-Fi extender. Once you've selected the relevant Wi-Fi extender, um, it will then automatically have the Tello DOM for example in the name of the network you just punch in the password and uh, let make sure uh, it connects sometimes when you're taking this it takes time and the drone shuts off and then in that case you can't connect so you might need to make sure that your your drone is, is uh, on at all times um, 
Once you've connected that on, then all you need to do is you go back out, go into your main settings and your Wi-Fi, and what you'll find is is that there's a um, a new network. Now, for example, on your Wi-Fi you'll have like your Sky or your Virgin, and you also have Telodom, and below that you'll have Telodom Plus, and you want to go for the Plus, and then punch in the password again, and that means once that's done and connected, the drone is connected to the extender the extender is connected to your phone and then you'll be able to fly it and I did notice the minute I put that on um, the video seemed a lot more smoother uh, I've heard rumors that it doesn't get you that much more extra range and but if you fly backwards apparently it gets you extra range I don't know you haven't tried it um, but the video footage is far less choppy so I did notice there was a few skips beforehand and there wasn't any skips when I was using the extender so it's definitely worth you know, paying the additional money. I think it's only about, I think I paid about 6 99 or £7 off eBay for it and it works great. Well, there you go. I hope this video has been useful for you. Um, don't forget, if you do find my videos useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be informed of any new videos that I do. And most of the time, to be honest, my videos are going to change. Uh, I'm going to do all sorts of things. I'm basically bringing to you what I do with my life as I do it. So there's always going to be something different. I'm never going to be doing the same thing uh, unless there's a very good reason for it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Bye now.